Okay, this is called Famous Last Words. True love in love, love. All of the above are lies and do not exist. Destroyed from the very beginning like dinosaurs, it's funny where I got the idea that love was real. Shakespeare taught me, not easy, that love can kill and be killed for all the wrong reasons. To love the wrong color was a treason, but to love the wrong person was a sin. I strongly believe that history repeats itself. So how can I find someone else to have and hold in marriage when I was a bastard just sitting in the carriage? And the only way I know he loved me as a baby is from the photographs I stick on my wall, reminding me that through it all, he loved me when I was oh so small. He loves me now and so does she, but to love each other, they disagree. And I fear that puzzle piece leaves me incomplete. How can she love him? From the deceit to the pain to the injuries and the eyes looking down from the window pane? How can I believe in love when separate there is, but together it's non-existent? Reminiscing back to the sixth grade, when the color of my skin caused this barricade, preventing the other kids from liking me because the brown paper bag was lighter than me. Ridicule for my complexion went in the wrong direction, but it tasted like the sweetest confection. Acceptance was finally in my collection. But who were they accepting? Me? No, that was somebody else. Somebody who must have been sent, who, somebody who must have been sent up from hell to tempt me to say farewell. Say farewell to the old me, the real me. It's a contradictory term that after all I had earned, it was not me earning it. It was just my soul yearning for normalcy. For I am not normal. Nobody is. That really does not exist. I am God's greatest gift, and unique for, or different, I was sure to be with him, to go back where I started, for history repeats itself. And I should know more than anybody else that nobody can help you without your own self's help. Sometimes I strongly believe that I must survive abortion, a meant to be straight contortion of the most divine proportion. So how do I live on my purpose when all I get is nervous when I'm told how much I deserve this? I don't know who I am, and it seems like everybody understands, but me, the one that matters the most. It's unclear of the party when they've been tired of the host. I try to let go of the past, and let's what past have passed, but my repetitive thoughts make it last. I feel that the past is worth restating. If it was worth living once, then that same life, there should be no hes hesitating. For history repeats itself, so form your lips to do the same. I know how it feels to hate, I know how it feels to love. At the end of the day, those feelings are fickle and left untouched by fear of not being enough. If I die today, don't bury me in a casket or leave me in an urn, only ashes to behold. Leave me with God and with love to turn old, for at that moment, love will exist. History repeats itself? Oh yes, it really does. For when you said I was the one you loved, you were thinking of her, and you were the one I was thinking of. See, that's how I know not to trust, for everything has an end. Others just, ours just ended before it could really begin. And don't think that what a grudge is what I'm in, because I would never let a power take hold of me, especially one of underage men. God is the only power in my life. I memorized the speech and recited it twice, right in front of my uncle and his wife. And so poor wife Donna died, and my uncle the husband survived. After the 80th anniversary and the love was still alive. But what can be alive now that she's gone? All I can think about is how truly alone he must be to have her at home, to turn to and kiss with a wish for every young. I apologize that we can't help that history repeats itself, that he had a child by someone else, and in that baby I see me absolutely no one else. Adultery is sad that one's mom or dad can find someone better than the best they ever had. Shit, it was a choice to be with another person. Nobody forced you, and at that moment you would have swore it was worth it. But what happens when you wake up and see someone much different that you feel divorce is the best way to go over with it? Over with what exactly? Gosh, you seem so happy in that foamy portrait I begged to have because it's the only photo I had seen of my mom and dad. And if a storm hit, it's the first thing I think of to grab, to show me for the rest of my existence that maybe if love had existed, I'd have both of you to wake up to, to say goodbye to before I went off to school. And I feel like my life had more use because my parents didn't use to be together. It wouldn't make me shit roses, but I would sure feel the mostest, feel to have the ones I love the mostest, the ones I knew to love to be the closest. Maybe love does exist, but I'm 15 years old. I need to finish this. Go to Stanford and become a famous writer, like Toni Morrison or Frederick Douglass. I remember what my father once said, if you can write like Frederick, you can write anything. I was glad to see he was interested in what I was planning to do with my life. He half fled, the other half fled by my mother. To me, she's perfect, and I sure do love her. I have to be special, I know I am destined. While someone might made me fate, it was surely intention, but my, pur my purpose is male marks unread. There's not much left to say, everything else is better left unsaid. Mm -hmm.